What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Robert the L channel. So what do we have today? We have a quick video in regards to the Sony update for 3.69 on the PlayStation Vita. Now right away the flow stated do not update to former 3.69 and please disable automatic updates from the PlayStation Vita. He also tweeted before you ask no I will not release a new hack for the 3.69 so we might have seen the last of the flow we don't know just yet but that's what he put in his Twitter so just guys do not update it is not recommended you will get a white screen what I've heard in the news if you follow my Twitter I put these news right away or as fast as possible to do not update disable automatic updates under settings system auto start settings and uncheck the download update file for the system software so just remember if you guys want to get more news in regards to what's going on with the PlayStation Vita you can go to my Twitter page also we'll be enabling the Henkaku DNS in advanced settings via our Wi-Fi network we'll go ahead and show that in the video as well this tutorial from Draken that was released so that we can avoid the automatic update if it's already in your system then we will delete that information so that we don't get updated now you will need to have Hencore or Enso in your PlayStation Vita Vita shell so that we can use it and then we will go to UD0 and go into those folders it also talks about the system and auto start settings and I will also leave the link in the description now if you need news in Spanish Nano Speed Gamer it is the great source to go to so I highly recommend it he always keeps videos up to date so go ahead and follow him on his Twitter and or YouTube channel now we will move on to the PlayStation Vita now within the PlayStation Vita we will access settings so we will go to system auto start settings now please make sure you uncheck that checkbox from the download update file for system software it is really important I have stressed it so much in my videos so now after we have done that we will go to our network Wi-Fi settings now remember to enable your internet connection and then we go to advanced settings and for DNS settings we will select manual for primary DNS, we will put 212.47.229.76 and everything else will leave as it is and we select OK. For now, this will give us access to the PSN network. If Sony changes the keys, then that might change that we don't have access in the future. But for now, this will also block any updates. So now we will launch Vita Shell. So within Vita Shell, we will go to UD0 or UDO and we will have these two folders PSP2 update. Now if the file has been downloaded, once we access that folder, you will see PSV PSVupdate.pup. So we don't want that and we want to delete that. So we select it, we press triangle and delete. We don't need that in our system. We don't want it to be updated automatically. It is really important guys so that you guys don't get updated to 3.69. You will see the other folders, silo trash. Delete any file you have in there. Now if you get updated to 3.69 then you might get a white screen. So after we've done that we will go ahead and reboot the PlayStation Vita. So do not update. It is not recommended. You will get a white screen. So be vigilant on your PlayStation Vita. Once you get home, put it on airplane mode and disable the Wi-Fi and follow these steps. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, share it with your friends. As always, Game Member Birth, out.